Yeah, that's what we're going to be seeing well, yeah. those big, big custom maps coming through, of course, when we're in the best of the ones. But you keep it a little bit more sort of, you know, base level here. Yeah, no, this is pretty standard, especially, you know, we've covered a lot of these South American teams in previous qualifiers yeah. leading up to this event, and they do love a bit of Mirage Inferno Dust 2. That's kind of their, their bread and butter. NA teams as well. And in, in NA, in the, in the sort of, you know, semi-pro to low-pro level scene in NA, if you can't play Mirage Inferno, you are pretty much screwed. Yeah. You have to be competitive on it, and that is where we're going to be. So off the back of the ninth round, we've seen that Case have been able to come out on top. They've chosen CT for the start, and Astronauts will be on the T side. Early aggression towards Banana, and I do love this. Dooley's on Dart. Ooh. This is a classic. Yeah, he could absolutely maul them, mate. Banana could be an abattoir. He's firing off the shots. Does shoot over the head and Steel will swing to at least shut down John G. But you're left in a 3v3. Flash on the getaway. Gets stuck behind New Box, but he still tucks oh. in. Woo! Second oranges for one. And then he falls. That first kill is actually so important. He's just only got the one shot he was able to get off before he goes down. Lands the headshot to make it a two versus two. Viz is going aggressive towards backhaul. He finds Fassin trying to go for the retake. Now it's all on Yeps. He's 1v2. He's walking in. They're not 100% sure where he is. Hasn't been spotted yet. I think he might have just been spotted there on the jiggle. Yeah, he was. So bomb is going to get planted. Actually, just the fake plant. Just the tap. See if they can bait any forward movement here. As he's creeping around, he's skulking here in the back halls. Trying to be the sneaky, sneaky man. He's walking in. See if he can find anything towards Coffins. Hasn't found him yet. The reposition's already there. He's pushed in towards his close left. As soon as he gets contact, the swing should come in from the teammate, but it's not going to matter. Ben Leet doesn't need it. And yesterday, Jack, this man went absolutely massive on this map for Party Astronauts. Just gargantuan. And, you know, as we were saying then, you can't put Lee in your name if you're not going to live up to the legacy. And he absolutely has been. He was hitting his shots, so proactive on CT and T yesterday. And he was coming away with so many frags. Most of them just impact frags as well. He wasn't even farming the Ecos. No, no, he was, he was just hitting everything. He just couldn't miss. Ooh, Honda. He gets so cheeky sometimes. Another guy who had a big game yesterday on Dust 2, if you remember, yep. was over on the A stream, of course, when we were covering the B stream. But Honda had a huge performance. Probably really one of his did. best career games, honestly. It was up there. He's had some pivotal ones. And that's certainly one of them. The 3K spray down he had from Gandalf on the A site on Dust 2 was just sickening. Oof. RCF oh. with the scout. Never in doubt. Finds the flick up. So John G being John dead into this round, Davey. Smoke him off in libraries. RCF's going to reposition towards Moto. Gets another tag, and he gets away with his life, so he's going to get a chance to take more shots here as the Deagle raining out through the smoke finds a bit of damage onto Ben Leet. And now there is Dart, big man. <laughs> How long do you think we should, we should just keep calling him Dart for? As long as it goes. <laughs> I like it. Yeah. I think it's always fun. My favorite one's when you get someone called Cat. Yeah, Ooh. Cat's a good one. That is good. I mean, the claws are out here. Case coming in like a feline, fast on their feet as they're able to take the scoreline back to a one-to-one -one stance. Again, a lot of that back and forth stuff that we just saw from Evil Geniuses as well. That is easy guys, man. Yeah. Inferno, best of ones. Back Especially when it's your first game of the day, dude. Mm -hmm. It just it just happens sometimes. You get stuck in that constant loop like a metronome. It's just like, here, you have a round. I will also have a round. And now I will have another one back, please. Can I have one of those rounds there? Rounds, please. Any rounds. Any rounds going. They're not going to find any damage. There's no T's jumping up into the window just yet. So you can see they were heavy towards the bottom of Banana, but all this utility from Case has sort of pushed them over towards the A side of the map. There is three CTs here waiting. You can see party astronauts not completely sure how they want to go about this one. They're trying to set up some strat. You can tell that there's been, there's been things communicated. A plan has been formulated. As they get control of top middle, there is one man over there towards long. That's Fasten. He's going aggressive, wants to get just a bit of information, and the only information he gets is that DJ's there with a gun waiting Ooh. to shoot him. Ben Leet swings out, does connect the headshot with the Tech-9. Looked a little bit dicey there for a moment, as Yeps does trade it back. The bomb has made its way into CT spawn, though, and Yeps is getting sandwiched. 
They're springing upon him. Yeps, trying to say oh. no, but it's not going to work as DJ will leave him low to the ground. And this is not ideal. You picked up the prior round, but coming in here with a better firearms, you'd hope they'd be able to string something together, get a bit of bank building on the CT side. At this point, it's just going to be a save. The best case is for both of these guns. And we talked about it. You'll have a round, then you'll have a round, then I'll have that round, please. And again, the trend continues. I don't know. They're actually, yeah, they were real close to each other. But neither one of them wearing any cologne or anything like that, so they couldn't really smell no it. No whiff. Yeah, they, they didn't get a whiff of each other. No one had any sniffer dogs nearby either. Just barking it up. Yeah, so they just sort of sneak on by. Nobody finds anything. All the guns are going to be saved. And if you want a reason not to buy a FAMAS, Yeps just displayed it right there in that round. Yeah. As we've said, man, the FAMAS at times, you sat there thinking, oh, it could be so good. But it just never is, it is it? It just never is. It Even never if they just fixed good. the burst, so like the, the last True. bullets were slightly more accurate, it would be huge. Yeah. No, that would be much better. I've always loved him. The little Frenchie, the famous. But not then. Not normally ever. I've always hated it in CSGO, honestly. Yeah. Can't stand it. Every time I buy it, I regret it. It's the saucer in me. I'm just always yeah. thinking about the plays you used to be able to make with the famous man. Nade damage coming out. And this is a fast play from Honda down middle. They have spotted it out by the looks of it as Jonji does get the kill. This time not going aggressive towards Banana. DJ swinging out in mid. Finds Yeps playing aggressive. The boost on B. Now they know there's two players at B. The reaction from PA should be to take top mid control right now. Unlucky. Yeah, not great. Slows him down somewhat. This is clean though. DJ on the drive-by. This is just the MP9, man. He's so fast. You can see he just couldn't track him. He ran no. across the screen so quickly. Breezing. Last player left alive in steel. He's got a tasty looking deagle. It's going to work up as well. Pulls out the M4, but Ben Lee posted on the angle towards Logs. Chops him up like a woodcutter. Party astronauts do find three rounds. Yep, they say, no more. We're not doing this round to round game with you. I see you've played roundy roundy before. Yeah, well, but we are the champions of roundy round. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good rack, though. Mm. That was a nice one. We had a really good ragdoll yesterday where he just went flying so high in the air. <laughs> yeah, that was sick. Do you remember when Valve made that initial ragdoll change a couple months ago? And you'd shoot someone in the knee and they would just do a backflip? Oh, yeah. That was so much fun. It was sad when they toned it down. I'm yeah. glad they left it oh. at least in the place it is. This is all right, though. The place they're in, you have at least made it somewhat costly, right? I mean, Ben's down. Pone alone. He's fallen over. The Viz will be able to find the heads. It's just on Yeps. USP, never going to work wonders for you. This will clean up. And astronauts, do you get the fourth round with just the two deaths? Yeah, two kills with the USP. Actually dinked Viz as well. He could have got three. Mm -hmm. That would have been pretty um, pretty nice. Oh, yeah, especially with the way the money's going as well. If Viz has to rebuy, it actually would have been a lot better for them. Yeah, yeah. Always good. It's always good on those eco rounds to so just get as many guns as you can, make them use as many nades as they can. It's a small thing, but could make a difference later on in the game. As we do see the op coming out for RCF, has the light armor as well. Not going for anything too aggressive, no run boost, no deep pick towards the ramp, just posting up on the fast mid swing. Counter nades are going to be coming out. Again, it is Jonji here towards Banana. This is his spot. It's his classic. It's his thing. It's his thing that he does. It's what Jonji does best, man. Sit here, I'll hold Banana, frag you up, and leave you with a bit of a disappointed face. And at the minute, that's just going to be the play they operate with. Astronauts can afford to just hold, see if there's any audacious moves from Case. You get a pick, then you can react from it. Yeah. Do you know John G actually has a 1,000 pound deadlift? Does he? Yep. Wow. You wouldn't expect it. Nope. But it's true. What a champion. Yep. Strong thighs. It's very strong oh, back, massive. isn't it? Oh, yeah. yeah. Just ask him to do it next time you see him. I will. I yeah. will. Does he bring the rates with him? Uh, not everywhere. Uh, it depends what he's doing. Usually he brings them to, like, to eat and stuff. I see. It's not yeah. like a rock type situation no, where he has no. his own like personal gym. No. No. It's, it's just like you know sometimes when he's going out to eat or going to hang out with friends, he just he carries them around on his back. He just starts deadlifting after yeah, the meal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you got to. You got to. I mean, Ben, he might be bicep curling into this round. As he'll need to look pumped 
to do some damage here towards A. Peeked out with the balcony and got the info, at least. There is four players here. He doesn't fully know that, but the rest of the T's are grouping up towards Banana, and that will be only RCF. He's only really in a position where he should be able to find one, at best, two frags, and with a trade. Now they're getting aggressed towards the bottom of Banana. RCF with the first, but he eventually calls on the frag back. Bit paranoid about another player being on the site. With only seven seconds left, they need to plant. Yeah, they get the bomb down just in time. Ponalone also found Fasten on the flank. That was a nice shot, so two versus three. That op is dropped in the back of the B side as well, so no real chance to recover it. But Case wants to go for this. They don't want to concede this fifth round for nothing. Molotov's coming in. They do find the kill onto DJ. Now they know there's one player here towards the new box. That nade is going to do so much Ooh. damage. He fights out. They know they're both there. They swing, but they don't swing together, but it's not going to matter. Out of bullets and yeps, and Ponalone peeks the right, finds the trade. Got real close there, but Ponalone is able to find both of his shots as party astronauts go up 5-1. to one. And he does live up to his name as well. In those situations where Pony Lone's left in the tight 1v2s, 1v1s, seems like he really comes alive. Good stuff from the AWP. It's unlucky for RCF as well. It seemed like he actually had the opportunity to get the second kill. Yeah. Such a one-and-done angle as well. So if you find two there, it could have been a difference. Well, I'm surprised. He threw the nade in towards New Box, and DJ did swing out that left side. I think one bullet connecting would have been enough for the kill, but maybe the nade smoke sort of blocked his vision. I'm not sure. Like, right there, I'm yeah. surprised Honda wasn't able to get one of those kills. Realistically, he should have. That, that, and that just would have changed everything. Oh, yeah. Instead, you get this knock-on effect. Are they going for the deco? Potentially. The big deagles out in full force for case. But that's all they have. No utility. Armor across the board as well, though, apart from RCF, obviously just trying to save the funds. Yeah, wants to bring that off out into the next one. Nades out towards top of B. This time it's Ben Lead. So it's more of a, a spawn-based thing you can see here from Party Astronauts. It's either him or Ben Lead, whoever has the better spawn. Goes aggressive. Molotov towards the sandbags. The nades at corner as well is going to push them forward. But nobody's going aggressive off the back of it. So by the time they scale here, the nades are going to be gone. And if they're not careful about how they take banana, this could get really bad for the party astronauts. Remolly towards the corner is going to help. They need to make sure they have a flash for these players towards the sandbag. Double flash comes in and Johnji does find the first. Knows the seconds there as well. Perfectly executed. Nate set from Party Astronauts coming out exactly how it needs to as John G pushes in and finds both kills. And now he's going to probably start good at go, like just looking out, just scouting out the B site here to see if they are actually stacked in B. And there is two more players here. He finds the first, second one through the smoke. Ben Leet's there to save him. So right now, not a single player dropped. Only damage onto John G and the B site has been taken. So clean anti-eco here from PA. Exactly what you would want from the Astronauts. Good re-entry as they came back from orbit into the B site. John G, he's still going sky high. Pushes up into CT, four frags into the round, all of them on the Mac Daddy. So the funds have been wired straight into his bank account and he is living it large. Yeah, six to one lead now on the T side of Inferno as well. And look at that. The rounds they've been winning, they're clean rounds. They're not even needing to get bomb plants. Only that one on the third round. Mm -hmm. and other than that, they've just been fragging out. Killing everyone. And already, this is a vastly different game to the last Inferno yeah. matchup we had, right? Yeah. Like, they're the concentrated rounds. We made the same sort of joke here because it felt like it's normally the way it feels, like it goes in these best of ones. Instead, as soon as astronauts get anything to work with, the confidence is there, they're playing hot-handed, they're just going in. And with six rounds in a bank, it's already a great tee half. Yeah, money's there on their back. And I think one thing that helps these NA teams is they've been, getting, they've been being told for so long how Europe's better than NA, the European teams are way ahead of NA, you know, all these things. So when they come to Europe and they play against European teams, there's sort of that, not air of invincibility, but that sort of, you know, you come into it with low confidence, whereas playing against the America, you know, in the America's RMR, they're much more in their comfort zone, and I think they can feel a lot more comfortable with how they want to play, play with a lot more confidence. Yeah, the more domestic mashups definitely give us a truer taste of the flavor. Right now, Honda could be in a position to raise hell like smoking Joe Fraser. As he's playing towards the pit. It'll be fast with the first and the second. Does it quickly. And only three T's left. Again, same sort of situation. You send the first two players in, but there's no commit. Yeah, no one coming out halls to go for the trades. Nobody else going up short. DJ's not able to land the shot on steel as he flicks over and finds the head. And the short plays, yeah, just a little disjointed. Again, we saw from EG a similar situation here for party astronauts. 
just a little too spread out. They're relying so much on their entry fraggers up short. And they just didn't have the proper util. They didn't have the flashes to go into the site. And when that happens, it becomes a serious problem. You have to throw those entry flashes to blind the guys playing inside of the site. If you don't do it, you're going to run into problems. This pwn alone might be running into some problems now. If they hunt him too hard, if they go for him after time, he might just drop. It doesn't look like they're going to go for it. They can let him save his op. They want to make sure they hold on to all the guns that they have. So Case do pick up their second. Six to two now. So far, a great T side from Party Astronauts. But if Case can bring this one back, bring it to that 8-7, you know, even a 7-8, you know, whatever. Just grind back as many rounds as you can. You're always going to have a chance on your T side. Good tack pause from Party Astronauts as well. Instantly. Just pause, shut it down. First round lost. Let's figure it out. No, I do love to see that. Yesterday was for the B stream games. You see the pause coming out. But after you'd lost like two gun rounds, at that point, it feels like it's already too late. You got the four of them, use them more efficiently, you know what I mean? Like, if you lose that first gun round, pause it, fix it, don't tunnel vision. Absolutely. Don't let anything crazy happen. They do still have the money. They have money for a little while. It's starting to get a little low, especially on Ben Lee, DJ, Viz, you know, they're, they're starting to slowly chip away at it. Party astronauts don't want to uh, make a habit of losing rounds. No. I think. Not at all. Steel, though, wants to make them lose this round. Straight down Ooh. mid. That's the orb shot from Pwn. He knows that his back will be turned, and he's going to get burned because of it. First frag found. Follow-up comes in. Swift strike from Farsin. And already it's just three T's left. Yeah, and Ben Lead, he wants to take this challenge, but Steel does, and eventually gets the, gets the trade back. So it's a small victory. Just one HP, though for Ben Lead at that point. And this was a good reaction from Case. You know, off the back of the tack pause from Party Astronauts, you know, there's there's always those mind games in those tack pauses where you have one team saying, okay, they've been doing this so far. This is how we're going to counter it. The other team knows that. So they're like, okay, they're going to try to counter what we're doing. How do we adjust to that? You know, and there's all these mind games that go back and forth. And this time, Case just, the reaction from Steel, the veteran of this lineup, just run it straight down mid. Yeah. Sprint at them. Hit them. Windmilling the whole way down. And he got the hit off underneath the chin. Now John G, he's going to try to take this on the chin. Sprint straight towards CT. Finds Honda. He's going to get into a car crash. And now it starts to get rough as they're going bold and brash into the B site. RCF on the flank. Scopes in. Hits the pickup. Straight back from Yeps. And they've tried to shut this down. Porterize the bleeding. But Viz is still here. He's going full high Viz. Wants to be the center of attention. Knows that he can recover the bomb if he makes the play. But with 20 seconds left, it's going to be desperation. Walks across. Cubby play for the Orpa. Wrap round towards CT as well. Peek out. Hits the first. Jumps in the air. Trying to jump for joy. But it's not going to work as RCF peeks from the noise. Hits him with a USP. In case. Do win it on the clutch. Yeah, just couldn't get that smoke dropped in time. Too much damage taken on that fight in CT. Wasn't able to pick up the one versus two. Still quite a few kills, though. And that is going to be important. Any kills you can get to sort of just damage that CT economy as much as possible. That fast play down middle again. Steel finding that opening pick. Just opened up the map a little bit. Allowed Fasten to go aggressive inside of halls as well. And again, look, they're going straight forward a second time. This time going into second. The flashes are going to come out. Has he spotted the player? It doesn't look like he has. Now he has for sure. As he peeks out, he knows there's a player close as well, and Viz is just sort of stuck in this corner. He doesn't have any help. Honda finds Jonji, and this is going to be all starting to fall apart. I say that as DJ gets the trade back onto Honda. So does Viz know there's a player close on the left? It doesn't look like it. And Steel is going to be a problem in the – just a thorn in the side of the party astronauts here. Yeah, Viz didn't spot him. He's dropped. DJ needs to go for the trade again and finds both. So, so far, DJ's been the one answering back from outside of the apartments. All the push and pull here in the 10th. And it's an important round here. You've still got an opportunity to win it for either side. Just depends what the play is actually going to be. With Ben walking back towards middle, they are going to be setting their focus towards the A site. Now, Yeps, he's got to hold this back. He's the sole defender. And for a second, I thought they were going to group up out halls there, but it looks like they are just going to send DJ in. Two players up middle. And like you said, one man inside of the A site. That is Yeps inside of the mini pit. I think that's the wrap smokes coming out as well. Are they?
they going to try to go up long? No, I think they just want to bait the long play. And they actually are going to be walking up short here. They don't know this, but two CTs have dedicated to the B site. So they just need to get these trades right. They just need to get their spacing. Having the op on short could be a problem as Yeps is inside of the mini pit. Hasn't spotted anybody yet, but the nades are coming. And are they going to clear it? They do. DJ from above finds the kill. They do have site control now. Two players post plant in the pit. Bomb planted for them. And this is going to be almost impossible for the CTs. Fastin swings out. As soon as he dies, RCF says, yep, that's enough for me. I am getting out of there, and I'm taking the plant with me. Yep. Get away. Stave the orb. And kill any flowers that are nearby. Hates flowers, RCF. Hates Little them. known fact about yep. him. Yeah, literally foliage. Worst thing in the world for him. Yep. You always see him at events just hitting leaves. I know, it's weird. He was walking around the hotel. I saw a video, you know, it was one of the content pieces. You guys haven't seen it yet, don't worry. It's coming. But he was just walking by and just knocking over, yeah. like, flower pots and trees. And it's ridiculous. Yeah, no, he was, he started, he was, like, trimming trees inside. He's like, what are you doing? Yeah. You can't be doing that. That's not yours. It's madness. Unbelievable from him. Does not like the plants. But it will be a planted bomb and a round win for astronauts as they now go seven to three. So their T side working wonders for them, even in rounds like this, where it comes down to the awkward one for one trades constantly. It was lucky they found Yeps as well. That yeah. silenced M4 from Pit. He could have punished everyone. Yeah, DJ just sneaking out onto the balcony, creeping all the way across, baiting his teammate inside of the site to perfection. And Yeps just committed a little bit too far back. He was trying to look for that swing on short, wasn't expecting. DJ to come from above, and ends up being his downfall. Swing out, oh, the smoke towards car does get put out. He spotted Jonji, but just as he got blind, not able to connect the shot. Little bit of nade damage comes out. There's another aggressive round in halls here from the CTs. Jonji gets away with his life. Could have gone down there to RCF. That recovered up, and look at the rotation. Case, they go for the aggressive play on B with three players, and they just completely give it up and leave it. And it looks like PA has the read. As soon as they scout this out, it should be around in the palm of their hand. For Case, you've gone for the gamble and it's not paid off. Big investment into the Deagles around the saved orp as well. So worst case scenario, you can at least hold on to all of this investment. Yeah, they have, uh, they have armor on everyone. They have the kit on RCF, smoke on him, smoke on steel. They're like, yeah, we'll just save all of this. Then they don't, and actually, crucially, they're not going to have to buy armor next round. Mm -hmm. So they can all just buy the upgraded weapons. They don't have to buy armor. Gives them that little bit of extra cushion. So if they do lose the next one, they are able to buy in the round after that. Definitely bails out the money. That is if they all get to stay alive. Of course, bit of John Rambo play from astronauts. They're going on the hunt. They're holding their angles. But it's effectively mirrored from what Case are up to. They will just play on the close angles where the decals are going to be favorable. You walk into them, then we'll have it out. If you don't, we'll just let it be a stalemate. Yep. No problem from either team here. They're like, okay, you guys want to save? That's fine. We don't mind. We don't mind. You guys can save it. We'll keep all our guns. You keep all yours. Bomb plant. Bomb explosion. Nobody dead. Ten people alive. Happens more and more these days. It does. It yeah. used to be so rare. True. When, it, it, be like, when wow. it used to happen, you'd be like, oh, this is great. I Nobody know. died. This is so weird. My goodness. Have you seen that? Now Everyone saves. But now it's just like, all right, FM. Yeah, and I was like, oh, yeah, no, that is just, yeah, it's just how, especially on Inferno, too. Oh, yeah. It's just like, oh, yeah, this is just common. This does just happen more and more. So either way, from the last round straight into the 12th, we are back at it. Of course, because they had that save, the money works out well, everyone gets the four buys out, and you've got all the bells and whistles, the utility that you need to play Inferno CT effectively. They take control of the top of Banana. Retake nades are here. Jonji not going anti-flash, so he just has the information that, hey, there's actually nobody fighting for B. So he can drop off, and he can just tell his teammate, hey, just walk on through, guys. We can just walk into B here. We can pop it. They're holding on to their utility. They threw the retake nades. They didn't actually want to contest it, so they're a nade set down at B. They have the information and wouldn't be surprised to see party astronauts just quick pop flash and straight into the B site here. Yaps. Jiggling on the corner, waits till he gets info, drops the smoke. There's the follow flash as well. So 48 seconds on the clock. They're going to oh, hold no. behind it, but look at the rotate coming in. He's got his back turned because he has the util in his hands. 
It's not going to work wonders for them. RCF with the orb misses the shot. He's basically nutmegged them. Shot between the both. They can now sprint back round towards A, and that's where Honda's lying in wait. Oh, it looked like that was going to be an absolutely doomed round there for Party Astronauts. The flank was perfect, and now, what a call. They're going to go back to B. They faked the play over towards A. The CT rotation comes in. It's just Yeps here, and he's behind a smoke. He's spraying, finds some damage, but can't find the kill onto Janji. And this is going to be the B site taken. And this is a sad situation here for Case. They're looking at it, and they're like, oh, we do want to try to go for this with the only one nade set on Honda. And they don't have any Molotovs. Really, this should be the save. But they are, I mean, they're here. They're threatening. No, they smoked off CT, and they are just going to try to escape. It's lucky as well. I was looking on the minimap during that, and it seemed like Ben was actually going to be going for the flank round. I thought yeah. he was going to try and cut them off, which is the instant defeat. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. That's wow. so unlucky. The play with the AWP, RCF, the difference there, if he hits the first, you can back off from the angle. Now suddenly you're sandwiched at Banana. No place to be made, right? Do we go for a desperation push either way? And if RCF gets the kill, right? Mm -hmm. He just gets a kill and leaves. Yeah. So then they can't turn and run back to A. So they have to commit to B where the rest of the CTs are stacked. So everything falls apart. Double scope did him dirty. Yeah. Double scope did him dirty. Single scope, a little bit more leeway, easy, slightly easier to pick a target at that range. But the double scope, he just sees movement, flicks, and like you said, right in between the two players. Look at this movement. Look at that chicken go. <laughs> oh, man. He is spinning. Having a spin. A little break dance. Oh, oh, oh whoa, my. Oh, whoa. Whoa. Easy Jeez, now. He's just a street performer. Whoa. Give him a tip, not a bullet. My oh. God. He's killed him, and he's grabbed the cup full of coins. This is... He's, we just seen day robbery. Daylight robbery. Oh, this could be some theft from John G. Up towards top banana, he's in the smoke. He wanted to be a bit of a criminal, but there isn't anything that he can steal. Just steal away our hearts and minds. I can't believe it, honestly. So much chicken killing. It's, there's been a lot today. Yeah, we had none yesterday. It felt quite nice. Yeah, and that guy, I mean, that guy, he was, he was putting on a performance for him too. Just a little, you know, little jig. He was just, he, was, he wanted to show his friendly roommates, the CTs, how proud, he wanted to make them proud. He did, and instead here, it's gonna be half to Honda that makes Case proud. He does drop the smoke and saves out from the molly, but the problem is he's only got one, finds a second before he goes down. Ben will batter him and can get the bomb planted. And 3v2 post plant again, and does Case go for this? Pwn alone has the angle, he's creeping around. It's gonna come down to the timing and steal. Able to connect the shots onto the side of the body, but not able to find the head. And Ponalone's gun, well, that kills with one. Mm -hmm. So, done, over, dead. Just a save for Yeps. If he's able to. Needs to try to hold on to that one. They are going to be sort of, you know, they're going to be closing in on him. Not a whole lot to say, you know, not a whole lot going on. Just hanging out in the back hall. Nobody really going to hunt too hard. He can drop an op over as well to RCF because he has the armor in the back pocket. Steel has quite a bit of money too. He could drop one if they want. Maybe a little cheeky double op here for the CTs. They're down 10 to 3. I mean, mix it up. Yeah, keep it fresh. Try and inject something somewhat new. And see what you've got going. Some good hair across the board for the across the boys in Ooh, total. The boys. Ooh, the boys. Everyone's looking pretty fresh. Nearly the full vert on the keyboard as well. Nearly, yeah. Is that Honda? No. Is it? Yeah, I think it is Honda actually. He's got the chain. He does. You gotta have the bling. See, that's more realistic. Yeah. This that's, is my comfort zone. Yeah. That's cause that's cause DJ is a smart Canadian man. Mm. Those damn Canadians. They're gonna be smart. You can just see it, the forehead yeah. veins, just like you. Yeah, you know, you can tell. So many grey gears inside his head. But for the grand scheme of the game, it is a 10 to 3 split. We are into the 14th now. Humongous T side from astronauts, really. I mean, that's the one thing you can say about this. Playing inside of the halls to the spam, feeling a little dangerous. They do manage to avoid it as Viz decides not to go for that second clip. Sometimes that just spamming that second clip just you know it can just uh, just to give you that little bit. And here they have been spamming the halls quite a bit, and there's two players inside of here. V 
Viz not jumping up this time. DJ, of course, at the bottom. They do take top B control. They make a lot of noise doing it as well. That might bait the push here from the CTs. The footsteps from Viz. Just sort of holding the CTs in place. The off angle from RCF. DJ's never going to expect that. Now the push into window. So they know they're aggressive in second mid, but they're pretty committed to this B bomb site. They want to get into B. And they want to have a battle, but instead it'll only be one man left to hold it. That's John G. Everyone else going back down mid. They peek into the scope. RCF fires off a shot, hits the first. Honda on the stairs, going to be decking everyone that comes towards him. Sets up for oh. more, and it's an easy spray. One, two, three. Case with a fourth. Swing out, line up. Take those if you're Honda. He loves them, mate. The aggression again from Case. That's where they've had the most success so far on the CT side, is getting aggressive down mid, getting aggressive into the halls. The off angle from RCF was just perfect. Of course, it is risky because one person spamming on the bridge and you're dead, mm -hmm. right? So those walls are paper thin up there. It's like being in Japan. You just got the paper walls. Yeah. Ooh, nade left in spawn as well. Again, straight down middle. Hello, Steel. Oh, he's Ooh. missed a shot. The sheer shenanigans. I mean, he still swung onto him. It felt a bit overzealous. There is a balcony attack from Honda as well in the bedroom. He's had an all-nighter. And he's starting to get scrappy. <laughs> John G through the smoke. Goodbye, Honda. Switches to the tech. Fastin was in position. So he's able to battle back from arch side. Yep, push up, blocks the smoke, and still hits the shot onto DJ as well. So they've now whittled the numbers back down to a 2v2. Minute on the clock. Rotate comes in from the tees. They're heading back to B. But Ben, he holds. If he finds this frag here, it could be gigantic for him. It's a very awkward fight, but he does stay alive. And right now, Pone alone can't commit to the site. He has to just throw that smoke, let Ben find out where this last player is. You can't do anything ridiculous. You need to stick together. Once you're in this position, when they, when they were split up, if Ben runs into A and says, hey, it's all clear, mm -hmm. come on over here, that's fine. Then he can come over. Now they just stick together. They push in. They are going to get that bomb planted. Smoke comes out towards Moto. It's a little bit deep and fastens in front of it, but the Molotov, very heads up play, making sure no aggression can come through. Ben leads there and waiting for it. And that is going to be the 11th round picked up for the party astronauts. 11-4. Yeah, Georgie, get your little dance going. Oh, mate. It's like when uh, Steel did the Dougie that time. Yeah. You remember that? <laughs> yeah. That was unreal. <laughs> yeah, it was. Just dropping a Dougie. But everyone looking fairly happy. A lot more serious. The talk coming across on the side of Case. And you would have to have a few words. An 11 4 half. If it was on the CT side, it'd make a lot more sense. But the way it's being played here, it's just so unfortunate for them, right? And now you're in a really rough spot. Although, of course, you get the classic, you know what I mean? 11 4, it can always come back. If you're now going on to T, you lose that pistol, it could be good night straight away. Yeah, definitely. Party astronauts, obviously, big fans of Inferno. Now, something I'm not a big fan of is not having a kit on CT pistol. I just feel like you should. I just feel like you should have one, but they are going to go aggressive in mid. They get a lot of information, but aren't able to find the headshots. It is this four man stack over towards top mid. One player rotating over. I think that is Ben Leet going over in towards CT spawn. So now the CTs, they're just changing their position. And they're doing a standard 3-2 without a kit. Mm. It just makes any potential retake so difficult. Could be risky. In case they take their time, scout out towards second mid early. See if there's any information plays. Now, link back up and fight towards Banana. And there is, you know, there's the nade set here from Johnji. He's in CT. He is going to be able to drop that smoke on Banana when he gets the information, when he spots them. Nade into the smoke as well. So when they try to scale, they're going to be slowed. They are going to take some damage. There it is. He plays behind it. Nade doing a bit, but the flash is good. Full blinds John G. He has to fall back into the CT smoke. They are taking a ton of damage, Jack, but there's no one's dying. They're not finding any kills. Ben does eventually get one, but he's traded from RCF. And now it's the 4v4 retake. And again, they don't have that kit. Oh, John G, though, might not need a kit because he's right behind them. Just goes charging straight forward. Hits the follow-up as well. Punishes the pool player. And now this looks horrendous. You're in a one versus two. It's all up to John G to do the damage. Go straight into new box. Suspicious of Honda's face. That's free frags, and he wants to turn it into the 4K. Oh, close, but no Sakaar. 
John G with a juicy round, but in the end, it'll be Case that pick it up. Yeah, and again, Honda landing those headshots from the new box. He's been having a good game. He's been having a good event overall so far. And John G himself, like you said, finding these headshots, gets three on the round. He knew his win condition. He didn't have the kit. He knew he had to push into Banana to try to find that kill onto Steel, who was peeking around the corner. But that was it. I mean, once Steel lands the headshot, that's it. You know, it's round done. And Case pick up the first round. They needed it. They needed it here on the T side. Party astronauts, if they won that pistol, potentially running away with this one. And that's why I just think you should all, you should just have a kit, man. Just have one person buy a kit. You can still do the nade flash smoke thing. Just have one of the guys stacking A with a kit smoke, you know? There's yeah. no, there's, why not? You gotta have it, dude. Bring a diffuser if you need some tools. And the right tool for the job here for party astronauts would be to hit their shots as push comes to shove towards the B site. T's grouping up. They have the better arsenal for it. Similar sort of affair. Smoke towards CT. I stop any aggression. Yeah, they smoke them off in banana. They don't want to commit through that, obviously. They have the AKs. One Mac-10 on the side of Yeps. He's probably going to be the first one going in here. Molotovs are going to come in. And there's three CTs here, but this is going to be the hit, and the Molotov's going to force them out. Push comes to shove. Molotov burns John G. Ben Lee with a fast adjustment. Can't quite commit to the spam to get the kill, but Viz might. He'll peek out. Kills from Coffins. They're forced back. They're struggling, oh! but suddenly he comes alive. Annihilates them with a hand cannon. And it's all on steel. 20 seconds, one versus three. Suspicious of the peak onto CT. If he faces out, he could get one dig. Instead, it's just a tag to slow him down. And now he's being battered all around. <laughs> DJ will do him in. And they do hold on. The jiggle peaks from DJ. <laughs> 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 he, he was so full of excitement. Look at him. He couldn't yeah. even contain it. He, just, ah! he was holding it in, the Love head on hands, just terrified of the outcome. Yeah, so relieved. Just an oversight there from Case. No smoke towards the coffins. Why? Yeah. Why don't you have a coffin smoke? You got the full B execute coming in. Throw the smoke onto coffins. Also, crucially, they got counter smoked at the entrance to B right when they started to commit. And that just completely cut them off, like you saw. Ben Leet potentially should have had two there as they came through the smoke. John G actually burned to death in the Molly, so Case had the man advantage. If you just have the smoke on coffins, that's probably a case round. It feels like that was the way it was going. But instead, we get here. 12 to 5. Party astronauts to CT side with a buyout. This should be a 13th. Even in terms of the upset potential, you're having a look. I mean, yeah, they've got armor. You've got the Deagles as well. 1P250 in the mix for good measure. Just Case, for good luck, like, you know. I mean, fair play, right? You know, they're not awful on the Deagles. We've seen rounds where they've bested full buys. Yeah. No, that's another thing you can rely on. Yeah. But again, you know, it's that similar thing. You all have a round. You'll have a round. Mm -hmm. You know, the party astronauts want to shut down that pattern even sooner here in the second half by saying, actually, actually, we'll we'll also we'll also take we'll this be round. We'll be having all, all the, rounds. the rounds. These are ours. And they're dedicating four players to this A site hold as well. They're just leaving that one player in Ben Leet over towards B. He has the nades. He has the MP9. They're like, all right, look, if they go B, we can retake this. We have the utility. Molotov still, right, in the back pocket. Viz has one. Ben has one towards B as well. And he's just spotting out the information. And actually, he's throwing the retake nades. And that's going to push them forward because they were already up close on the car. Flash is good to push them off, but he needs to fall back now. His team has to rotate over. There's no smoke in CT spawn. Ben is aware of the aggression, though. Finds the kill onto Steel as now the CT smoke is there. Spray raining out. This is going to be the five versus four retake. But like I said, a ton of utility held onto here by the CTs. Flashes, Molotov to go out. They just need to wait out these smokes as even more damage is being found. Apparently, they don't need the smokes to be gone. They'll just shoot straight for them and still find tags. Honda, though, he goes aggro towards Garden. But they're going to be able to shut that down. Leaves it just on Farsin. He's got the Deagle peak CT. Felt like it should have been a one tap on the first. But losing out on that one, suddenly you're completely outnumbered. He'll fall. 
And party astronauts get themselves 13 rounds, coasting towards the finish line now. They do, and that was the force, too, from Case. They did get the bomb planted, so 13 to 5. They should likely just save this one, concede that 14th round, and then try to string whatever, 11 rounds together on the T side. Not, not a super fun situation to be in. Nah, never easy. Never easy. But it wouldn't be Counter-Strike if it was. No, that's true. That is exactly what they go for. Deagle's brought out again. Armor on Fasten, but he's the only one. As Ponalone jumps across, spots the information, sees them at the ramp. Just going to pass that info across. It's not crazy good info or anything. It's just like, hey, they're, they're T-Ramp. It's like, oh, yeah, they are. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, safe It's kind of their spot. 5T spawn. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of their spot. Ooh. What? 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 <laughs> yeah, I mean, he sees him. <laughs> Saw a leg. Now, I think a bit of how's your father. Info. That is. <laughs> He's got one five. Potentially two. Oh, God. He's stressing me out. This is quite stressful. Oh, huge deagle connection. DJ. He'll be frustrated with that play. He's down on the deck. And there is an opportunity for the backstab, though. John G's right in the rear. So he's seen fast in and stops that. It is a four on four, but of course the CT is going to be favored. They've got the better weapons to work with and they're so split on the T side at the minute. But also importantly, they just got the information that Party Astronauts was playing retake on B because John G rotated into CT spawn and Ben Leet was at the coffins. So in their minds right now, Party Astronauts is playing retake on B and it is accurate information. Ben Leet has repositioned slightly towards the back of the site, which could be crucial as John G rotates in to get that re-smoke out. With 30 seconds left, if he peeks from Coffins, though, he's going to be dead at the hands of Steel. Steel. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> eyes like a hawk, waiting for the face, but it won't matter. As his teammate boosting him has been battered, there's the response, but the Molotov's underneath him, so hot feet. He's out. And Ben Lee at the back of the site should get the easy pickings onto the last player now. is supported by Pone alone. No matter what happens here, you've only got nine seconds. You'd have to do something audacious. Tries to get the bomb plant, baits them in first, hits the headshot. All right, maybe there's an opportunity. Two seconds, he's got a sprint in and the timing's not gonna work. Nope, he just needs to get away. Viz realized he just needs to hide, no time to plant. Now again, one small thing, Yeps did grab the op, mm -hmm. so he does get to bring the op over, but his money's not great, so he is gonna need to have an AK traded over to him. And overall, it doesn't actually play that much into the round, besides the fact that he's taken all the guns out of the hands of the party astronauts, which could be important if they are going to mount this comeback, being able to take those guns out of their hands, potentially break their money as soon as possible. So, you know, small thing, small thing, but those four kills could make the difference in this comeback, and they're going to have to start mounting it right now because they're down 14 to 5. The devil's in the details, but the problem is it feels like they're the ones getting punished by the pitchfork in a game like this, and it's not going to be an easy comeback. It's a game you want to win as well. It's an important result here. Being 1-1, being able to adjust from that, get yourself into those slightly easier games, start to work back into the more competitive environment where you know you've at least got a safety net underneath you. You lose this, you're in such a tragic position in the RMR and it'd be a shame to see. For a second, I was a little bit, uh, a little bit concerned that RCF didn't drop Yeps and AK. Yeah. Because uh, he's only had a deagle, and I was like, that would be that would be rude, RCF, if you didn't do that. Can't be doing that. Can't be dropping him. So, 14-5. Fashionals pick up the round here. Take it to match point. Have so many to work with. And not have to worry as much. A minute and 16 on the clock, though, for now, Dave. You know, a lot more of a slow style of CS coming out from Case. They are going to start to aggress back towards Banana. The AWP scoped in. Down comes the smoke. They'll play around it, but here's the peak from the CTs. RCF does hit the shot. Ooh. Very good. Oh, Steel swinging out. Gets the trade onto Viz. Also, finding that opening pick onto Janji. The pop flash was good for the original players in, but RCF coming in late. Didn't eat that one. See so he finds John G for free. Also, we did just get an update from the B stream, Jack. Liquid took down Payne 16 to 1. Ooh. One round away from the 16 0. Liquid. Ah, they're giving it. I bet Shox is happy with that one. Oh, I, bet, I bet everyone's happy with that one. Oh, yeah. Except for the Payne fans and players and Probably management and, and family members and you know, all that stuff. Yeah, basically everyone else but Liquid. Yeah. <laughs> 
16 1, though, man. Damn. Yeah. But right now, it's astronauts that move like water. They go with the flow, and the flow is helping them so much in this game. 14 to 5. Could go 14 to 6 here because the bomb's planted. You're not really looking to get the round out of this. You just want to hold on to your weapons and stop any casualties. Issue is, Pony alone will be spotted by RCF. That's his second kill with the round now. And Honda, looking for the fight towards Balcony, does get taken down, but that's a big tag. So DJ, not really in a spot to try and stay alive fully. If they wanted to commit to it, he could fall. Don't really want to run the risk of losing any more weapons, though. No, and now all that economic damage from the previous round. Look at the effect that's having. They're not going to have any money into this one. They keep the two M4s, which is something. It's a small victory. You do get to hold on to it as much as you can. But they're not going to be able to buy into it. And this is what I was saying. Case, if they wanted to start the comeback, getting all those kills is a good way to start it because you're going to break the money as soon as possible. And you are going to get the double eco out here from party astronauts. Don't be surprised to see them force into this. Deagles and armor on the players who didn't save the M4s. Maybe MP9s are from Moss dropped over. Yeah, Viz has the FAMAS, the smoke. So you yeah, full force coming out from PA. They lose this one. They are going to be on the eco. And also, just because of the way the money works, if they lose this one, they eco next. They Let's say they lose that one. They're only going to have like 44, 4,500. So they're not going to be able to get the M4s and the full buys or the op out for Ponalone. Could leave you dented and struggling to recover. Of course, any mistakes will be major for Case. And again here, early push and pull towards the B site. John G, the only one here. He's been spotted, but he has the Molotov ready. Does use the smoke first to create a bit of space. Jumps across as well. If he plays right behind this, if they walk through the smoke, could be an opportunity for him, but they are barreling back. And they're leaving, and they made noise running away. He might have heard that. They might have just been out of range, but regardless, he is still going to be the only player on the B site. Four-man stack at A, and that's where Case is going. Three players here towards short, boosted up onto the balconies, playing at the hay carts. Ooh, in Case, they're going to walk right into the stack, and they're split up 2-2 two -two as well, crucially. All comes down to this then. 35 seconds, they leap out of the apartments. One for one trade as Honda will hit his first. All of the CTs coming up large and everyone's being able to shut them down. It's just Honda left, hits a headshot. 25 seconds, advances forward. He's got to get the bomb and he's got to get the kills. He's being swung on as well from John G. And John G, he doesn't <laughs> let go of W. Just running at him with the MP9, running him down, spraying the body. And right there, John G playing B perfectly pushing Case into just walking straight into that stack on short. Mm -hmm. And like I said, they were split up. They had three inside of the halls and two in middle. One of the players in middle was that opera as well. So when he doesn't find that opening pick, there's nobody to go for the trade on the short players, right? The first guy jumping out halls dies, and you're relying on the players in pit to trade on short. But their thought process isn't to get into short, it's to get into pit. So there's no trades on the short stack, and that is why the CTs were able to win out on all of those frags. CTs. Finding early victories here once again as well. Pone alone, challenged by Steel. He's wanted to go for these early aggressive entries. We saw it on yep. the CT side specifically. Grand scheme of the game. It's been a bit hit and miss. DJ, he's going to try and hit him. Wants to smack him up with the SMG. Does turn the corner and back off. He's playing close and Fassin is going to clear it. Good crosshair placement. Lands one between the eyes. You do have a 4v4 on your hands. Yeah, and sadly for the party astronauts, two players towards the top of Banana, they're dedicating to it. So they just have these two, one in pit, one in sight. Ben Lee actually with the FAMAS creeping around the corner, finds the headshot onto Fastin. Viz now dropping the smoke into pit. Going to try to keep himself alive for as long as he can. Counter smoke on short as well. Good counter what? utility and through the smoke. Viz doesn't even see him. We barely even saw what happened. He finds two before DJ ends it, and that's it. That is the end of the game. I'm there with my head on my hands thinking, how on earth has Ben won out on that engagement? The peak with the famous. Yeah. Woo, made himself famous with the play. And then they just go on to win the whole...